guys okay i'm gonna start my vlog right now um haven't done a vlog in a while uh, but i actually just got done filming my postpartum must have videos um kind of went over breastfeeding and stuff so i need to make sure that i edit that i am actually remington is down for a nap but she's actually in our bedroom um so she is going to be five months on monday she's been doing really good with sleeping uh up until this last week she decided to regress so the three to four month regression i guess um She's actually done really, really well. We've been doing the taking care of babies. Um, I bought the three to four month regression course. Um, I bought this, I don't know, like a month ago and it's all talking about the sit back method um, and how when she w does wake up in the middle of the night to not just go straight to feeding right away. Uh, a lot of that has to do with making sure they get enough calories during the day, which we do. And you know, really focusing on when we go in there, keep the lights low. Um, I usually put my hand on her chest, uh, replace the pacifier, turn back on her shisher, uh, and in about 10 minutes or so, I can kind of feel her, and then I slowly leave. Um, that wasn't working this week. So I was like, okay, I was going through the steps, and then I tried to nurse her and put her back down. Um, she, and 30 minutes later, she was awake again. So usually the regression, what I'm reading is like when they're about to hit some sort of a milestone developmentally, maybe she's trying to roll over. She has rolled over. She's not rolling over. Um, and we had kind of, I pulled her out of the swaddle this week because I saw that she rolled over once or twice. And I thought, okay, well maybe she needs that swaddle. And so for the past couple of days, I put her back in the swaddle, uh, but I've let her arms stay out. So she hasn't she didn't wake up at all last night but she did wake up this morning at five yesterday at five um and then the night before she was up a couple times but the sit back method was working again so i know she'll be five months on monday but i haven't purchased taking care of babies abcs of sleep yet which is for five months to 24 months um and I'm just going to kind of see, I know regressions are supposed to be like about two weeks long. So she's doing better. There was a couple nights this week where I was like, like, you know, when you wake up at morning and you're just like, um, so the past couple nights she's been better. Um, so we'll see if this continues. Now her napping has been abysmal. Yesterday she took two 30 minute naps. That was it. That's not anything uh, for those of you guys that don't know um so my husband was reading a little bit more talking about how naps can be affected during a regression as well uh, the one thing to do is to keep the room super super dark and wherever they fall asleep don't worry about putting them in the crib right now just make sure that they get the nap um our bedroom is the darkest room in the house so yesterday and today just now i moved her into our room because um, it was dark in there and she's been down for about an hour so today i'm going to head over to my mom's house um so what i'm doing right now is i'm packing up a lunch to take with me um i am also four weeks until a photo shoot with my um ado fitness girls i work for a company called ado um and all there's seven of us trainers total all over the country and we're meeting up together in Dallas this year at the end of March um and we're doing you know photo shoot things like that so being five and a half months postpartum I'm really trying to get my nutrition dialed in um I've been increasing my cardio a little bit um I'm tired guys I'm tired. I'm so over prepping for the shoot, but we're going to see it through. So that means I need to bring my food with me. Um, so we're going to do salad. I have some spiralized zucchini on the bottom. I've got some spinach. I've got a uh, cucumber in here already. I've got some strawberries I'm going to add. Um, oh, I've got chopped pecans. That's been my thing, man. So I'm going to throw that all in here. I'm going to pack up her as soon as she wakes up. I guess I'll kind of show you how I've been surviving postpartum. It's all about meal prep, guys. I like cut up all my vegetables. Um, I, pr I pre-make all my proteins. I think um, this week it was ground turkey. And then here's my salad I'm making. Um, I have some roasted potatoes and carrots um, that I was, I'll have and pull out. I've been eating those with eggs. 
Um, and then I have my sweet potatoes. Something else that you absolutely need if you're postpartum. We just came out with a supplement line called Protea. Um, I've been talking about this a ton on my Instagram, um, but I haven't talked about it on YouTube, obviously. So this Protea supplement, this is the Stressify from Protea, and it is absolutely amazing. It has been revolutionary for me. I've been kind of struggling with, um, I think what I think is postpartum anxiety. I've never had an issue with anxiety. Um, I do get overwhelmed easily, I should say, um, but not this level of anxiety over things that are like, they haven't even happened or they're like three months away and I'm like, you know, anxious about them. Um, I do notice, especially at night, I get a lot more anxious because I don't know what kind of night I'm gonna have. I don't know how many times I'm gonna wake up. I don't know if I'm gonna get any sleep. I don't know how that's gonna affect my day tomorrow. I mean, it just, I just spiral. Um, but taking this, I take two in the morning. I actually need to take two right now. Um, and two in the afternoon, or excuse me, one in the afternoon has helped me tremendously. I can actually feel kind of like my heart rate go back down um, and I can function a little bit better, um, a lot of it better. So I cannot recommend this supplement enough. I'll leave a link in the description box, but this has helped so much. It's a bunch of different adaptogens. So it's not, you know, it's not like taking a Xanax or something like that. Relora I've taken before prior to being pregnant um, and I really liked it. Um, it does also have uh, Rodelia extract, ashwagandha root, um, and holy basil extract as well as, uh, what is it? Turmeric and L-theanine. Uh, um, so it's everything that I used to take separately um, all in one capsule. I cannot recommend this enough. Um, okay. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of work done while she finishes napping before we head out to my mom's. I could be who you want cause I know that I need to be happy too. And then things turn to dust when I bluff just to mess up and tell the truth. All I hear is an echo, turn the words of a say to ammo. Cause I can't escape when you call my name When you call my name I go crazy when you call my name Make me lose my game when you call my name I go crazy cause I can't escape When you call my name When you call my name ounces of warm lemon water and then making my coffee I got a little nugget down here this morning we woke up we ate we took um, five months pictures tomorrow she's five months old I got my coffee going I switched over from the cold brew that I was drinking we went back to just like the little Keurig cups this is the vanilla caramel cream and the French vanilla are the two that I get um, the vanilla, the caramel one I can get in bulk at Sam's Club. And that we started last month, this will be our second month doing it, is we started doing the Dave Ramsey, um, what do they call it, Finance University or something like that. Um, so we started watching the videos and we really started kind of looking through our expenses and kind of shaving out the amount of money we were spending just like out and about and, um, you know, coffees. Um, even though we never went to like Starbucks every morning, still those cold brew coffees are not cheap. Anyways, just like small changes like that we were doing. So I actually just finished, today's March 1st, I just finished our March 1st budget. Um, and I like looked over all of February and kind of saw how much we actually saved, put that into savings, and then um, revamped the budget based on last month. So it's kind of a learning experience for the first couple months, but 
I highly recommend it. I think it's really eye-opening, if anything. Um, we've just got a couple things we want to save for. Um, I'm in the market for a new car, obviously having a child. So lots of travel this year. We have six scheduled confirmed trips so far. Um, I have four of those Remy's coming on. So busy day. Um, Elliot's on his way home this morning, so we're going to have a nice little Sunday, and I'll kind of take you along in morning routine. I'm going to make some breakfast. All I hear is an echo, turn the words up say to ammo. Sleeping on the side of the bed though, weeks of God can't let go. I go crazy when you call my name, make me lose my game. When you call my name Hand me over Remy and the washing machine But here is the supplements that I'm still taking postpartum So I took a probiotic my entire pregnancy um, And this is the one I've been taking It's got uh, 50 billion CFUs, which I really like um, It's the ultimate flora um, Really like it, it's refrigerated um, so I've been taking that, then I've been taking the Irwin Naturals fish oils. This is the fish oil I highly recommend. It's 1200 um, milligrams of omegas, um, specifically out of the 2000. So like even though it says there's 2000 purified fish oils, you still want to make sure that the majority is coming from EPA and DHA. Sometimes they have a bunch of added fillers. Um, this is the um, Perfect Prenatal I've been taking. I took it my whole pregnancy. I love it. It doesn't have a ton of iron in it, um, so I really like that. Um, so I've been taking that one. I don't know why this isn't focusing. Sorry guys. But I take this one two or three times a day. I think the serving size is one three times a day and I usually forget one time. Um, taking vitamin C. You can take vitamin C to bowel intolerance. So I actually take 2,000 milligrams every day, sometimes more depending upon uh, how I'm feeling. So I always take that in the morning and then I talk about this in my uh, postpartum must-haves, but I always take one in the morning, usually one at night, and then if I'm feeling like a clogged duck, you can take up to three or four a day. So these are my supplements in the morning, and then I'll show you one I take with breakfast. Something else that I've been doing um, for I think my entire pregnancy and then postpartum is I'm gonna have an oats for breakfast. I'm not sure, I think during pregnancy I was like still on eggs or something, but postpartum oats are supposed to be really good for milk supply. I haven't really had a problem with milk supply, so I don't, I'm sure if I stopped eating oats I'd be fine. Um, but I do really like my protein oats in the morning. So, and as you guys know, I am a creature of habit. I can eat the same thing every single day and be perfectly fine. So I've been doing these oats and actually um, before I pour them in here, I this is the brand I get, um, I do have the nutritional information because as of right now, I am tracking macros because we have a photo shoot in four weeks. So when I put my things in my containers, I make sure that they have the barcodes so I can put them in. But So I'm going to do about a half a cup of oats here. I put these in the microwave for 90 seconds. As they're co cooking, I'll tell you guys what else I put in them because I put them in for 90 seconds and then I mix them up and put them back in for 30 seconds. So, what else I put in my oats is I do a, um, I do frozen berries. Um, I was doing frozen blueberries, then frozen strawberries, and they didn't have strawberries last time, so I got the triple berry mix. But the reason I like frozen berries is because they melt into the hot oats, and I also add almond butter. So when I do these hot, they melt into the hot oats, you guys, it's so good. I do struggle with gut issues, and so one of the things that I have found that helps me is following a low FODMAP diet. Um, I'm not gonna go too far into detail in this video, because a lot of you guys already know that, but um, I chose not to be medicated for my irritable bowel syndrome, so I do more of a um, managing holistically by staying away from foods that cause my gut stress. So when I bought these, 
I switched to these. I was like, ah, they don't have strawberries. I'll be fine. I'll switch to the triple berry. Well, come to find out blackberries are actually high FODMAP. So I've been picking out the blueberries and the raspberries in here and I feel so much better. I was having a reaction to the blackberries. So won't buy these again, but I'm picking out the um, blueberries and raspberries. And then um, I'm doing about, I think a third a cup or a half a cup, a half a cup of these and a tablespoon of, a tablespoon and a half of the almond butter. tablespoon yeah a tablespoon of chia seeds in there for some extra fiber um, and some healthy omega-3 and then the protein I've been using is the protea um, protein powder I love this protein um, I'll leave a link below but this is the chocolate the chocolate and the vanilla are really really good it has a full greens profile in here um, and typically with my gut, I can't really handle greens. Um, and actually, when I tested this product when I was pregnant, because um, we were coming out with the, the flavor and everything, I was perfectly fine. Every, I was kind of iffy about trying a green supplement because I know historically that when I get protein powders, especially vegan powders, because I don't do whey or dairy, um, it would upset my gut because of the different superfoods blend that is in there. Um, again, I don't know why that's not focusing. So I was perfectly fine pregnant and then when I got my shipment in postpartum, it really affected my gut and I was really upset about it because this is our product line. Um, and actually, at the same time I started this product, I started another one of our products, the baseline. I don't have the gut issues anymore. So I know, and I knew that. Your gut, your hormones are very, um, they control every part of your body, your gut, your stress, your, um, you know, because I know that stress is one of my um, biggest reasons why my gut acts up is high cortisol. So <clears throat> um, I know that taking this has really, really improved my gut. It's improved my digestion. Um, it's improved my energy and I have no problem taking this supplement so I don't I don't know what it is I was kind of doing research on it I can't tell you if it, oh well I know my progesterone and estrogen are suppressed right now because I'm breastfeeding but I don't know what it is guys I love this product I think it's so delicious add about a half a serving of um, protein in my oats and the only reason I do half a serving is because again I'm tracking macros and I save another half a serving to make like a chocolate spread on a rice cake for dessert so half a serving in here. The finished product, I've got my oats, my berries, my um, chia seeds, and then I'm gonna actually go ahead and take my baseline right now um, with breakfast.
5.30. Um, Remy's still sleeping and actually Elliot's home today so he took the baby monitor. Um, I woke up at 4.30 to pump. Um, I still can't go the whole night without pumping. The highest amount of pump or milk supply that I get out is like in the morning, really early morning hours, like 3 a.m. to like 5 a.m. Like if, if I don't pump all night and then I just wait to feed her, she's not gonna take 14 ounces, which is what I usually pump out. I pump out between like 13 and 15 ounces in the morning. So um, I'm using that as like my freezer stash because to be honest with you guys, I'm so over breastfeeding. I'm trying to build up a freezer stash so that I can make it to a year on my stash, but I don't necessarily have to go a year. Um, we are thinking about trying for our next kid after her first birthday in October. So I'd like to be done breastfeeding and obviously get my cycle back and all that stuff. So um, I don't know if I can make it to June and then, or July, 10, yeah, to July breastfeeding and then have enough like three months worth of freezer stash. That's kind of what I'm going for. Um, we'll see what the pediatrician says at her six month appointment next month. But for now, um, that's my plan. So anyways, um, woke up early to pump and now I'm going to get a little workout in. This is usually how I start my weekdays. Weekends I'll sleep till she sleeps, but weekdays I gotta get up and get my workout done first thing. So, all right, we're gonna warm up with a little walk. For those of you guys asking, this is our gym. It's a little messy, but um, we just made our third car garage here into a gym. Um, so I have this Smith machine here, um, has cables on the side, it's weight. Um, plate loaded. Um, that's my drip fit bands just hanging there. Um, we have some mirrors. Um, obviously I have the weight tree here, a bench. Um, I've got some resistance bands, a 20 pound weighted ball, a medicine ball. I think that's six pounds. That's 20. Um, and then this is our squat rack. Um, I have the TRX hanging here right now and the barbells in the corner because I was using my resistance bands. I use my ADO resistance bands and I tuck it there or I tuck them up here. Um, and then uh, lighter free weights. I think this, this tree goes up to 30 pounds. Um, and then this tree goes up to 85 pounds of free weights. Um, obviously my husband uses more of those. I use more of these, which is why they're not put away. Um, and then a little barbell. I use this for hip thrusting. I'm not sure how much this weighs, but um, I got that. got my ankle weights, step. This just holds a bunch of extra attachments for the cable machine. And then the treadmill with our TV. So it's two of us can work out in here together. Um, it's a smaller space, but it works. All right, guys, welcome back to another commentary. So I'm just gonna walk you through my workout for today. Any workout that I do, I always start with 10 minutes of high incline walking. So I usually set it about 13 to 15% and I walk as fast as I can without holding on. Then I go into some of these glute activation exercises. This is one of my favorite combinations. I've been doing almost every glute day for the last three months. I do 20 per leg uh, fire hydrants and then go right into 10 per leg straight leg fire hydrants followed by 15 per leg knee to chest glute bridges. And the key here is to keep your leg in the center of your body. Uh, and you'll really feel that in your glutes. So I circuit through all of these, left, right, left, right, for all three exercises, uh, three times through. Then I go into the bulk of my workout here and I'm doing a rest pause uh, barbell glute bridge. So what I'm doing is about eight reps, squeezing every single rep at the top, but then on that eighth rep, I'm holding for a five count. Uh, then I do about two more reps. I do hold for five counts, one more rep, hold for five counts, and then my last rep, hold for five counts. So there's 12 reps total, um, but I'm splitting it up eight to one, one. Oh, I love these. These are reverse hypers here, and this is a, what they call like a spread eagle reverse hyper. So I'm keeping my legs as straight as I can. I put the pad there on the bench, and I'm thrusting with my hips, keeping my lower back, um, keeping the arch out of my lower back, otherwise you will feel it there. 
Ooh, going directly into cable pull throughs. Again, this is one where you don't want to let your lower back arch because you're gonna feel this in your lower back if you do. Uh, this is really a glute dominant exercise. Uh, what really helps me is to put that pulley about a foot up from the ground. Um, and then it's like a standing hip thrust. These are supine transverse banded abductions. Yeah, it's a mouthful, but basically it's an abduction um, where your legs are up at 90 degrees there. You'll get some good core activation. I think I'm doing about 30 reps here. These are, these are good. Uh, directly into this banded cha-cha. This was one that I got from uh, Brett Contreras. So you're gonna feel this one in your stationary leg. Um, I'm coming back at about a 45 degree angle and I'm really squeezing through that stationary leg. You'll feel it in the one that's moving as well, but uh, you'll definitely feel it in the other one. And then to finish it up, I'm doing some weighted frog pumps. I'm not someone who really feels frog pumps very well, um, so I added some weight here. I think I'd prefer doing glute bridges, but I wanted to mix it up. And then on this particular day, I believe I finished off with about 10 minutes of a jog. Oh, 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 oh,